Greetings in Christ to all of you, brothers and sisters, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word in Christ the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City. Today is Friday of the 27th week in Ordinary Time. Our Mass Presider is Rev. Father Ronald Ray S. Martinez, SVD, Shrine Rector. Our Eucharistic celebration and devotion to Sacred Heart will now begin. Magsiawit kayo sa Panginoon. Alleluia. Magsiawit sa Panginoon. Purihin, purihin ang kanyang pangalan. Ipahayag, ipahayag ang dulot niyang kaligtasan. Magsiawit kayo sa Panginoon. Alleluia. Magsiawit sa Panginoon. Kayong mga angkan, maghandog sa buon. Luwalhati at papuri, ialay sa Panginoon. Magsiawit kayo sa Panginoon. Alleluia. Magsiawit sa Panginoon. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. A wonderful and blessed day to each and everyone. Today, in this Mass, we ask Jesus to drive out evil spirit in our midst. That's the point of the Gospel. Jesus has the capacity to drive out evil spirit. In this Mass, we ask Him to drive out from us despair, self-doubt, negative thinking, and anger and hate to one another. Instead, mapalitan ito. Instead of self-doubt, faith. Instead of anger, peace. Instead of negative thinking, hope and excitement for the future. And instead of despair, courage. May the Lord bless all of you in this Holy Mass. And so for us to worthily offer ourselves in this celebration, let us first recall our sinfulness and ask God for His pardon and mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to forgive sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May our Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who in the abundance of your kindness, surpass the merits and the desires of those who entreat you. Pour out your mercy upon us to pardon what conscience dreads and to give what prayer does not dare to us through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Joel. Gird yourselves and weep, O priests. Wail, O ministers of the altar. Come, spend the night in sackcloth. 
O ministers of my God. The house of your God is deprived of offering and libation. Proclaim a fast, call an assembly, gather the elders, all who dwell in the land, into the house of the Lord your God, and cry to the Lord. Alas, the day for, ne for near is the day of the Lord, and it comes as ruin from the Almighty. Blow the trumpet in Zion, sound the alarm on my holy mountain. Let all who dwell in the land tremble, for the day of the Lord is coming. Yes, it is near, a day of darkness and of gloom a day of clouds and somberness, like dawn spreading over the mountains, a people numerous and mighty. Their like has not been from of old, nor will it be after them, even to the years of distant generations. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will judge the world with justice. The Lord will judge the world with justice. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with all my heart. I will declare all your wondrous deeds. I will be glad and exult in you. I will sing praise to your name, Most High. The Lord will judge the world with justice. You rebuked the nations and destroyed the wicked. Their name you blotted out forever and ever. The nations are sunk in the pit they have made. In the snare they set, their foot is caught. The Lord will judge the world with justice. But the Lord sits enthroned forever. He has set up his throne for judgment. He judges the world with justice. He governs the peoples with equity. The Lord will judge the world with justice. We honor the Holy Gospel. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus had driven out a demon, some of the crowd said, By the power of Belzebul, the prince of demons, he drive out demons. Others, to test him, ask for a sign from heaven. But he knew their thoughts and said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself will be laid to waste, and house will fall against house. And if Satan is divided against himself, how will his kingdom stand for you say that it is by Belzebul that I drive out demons if I then drive out demons by Belzebul but whom do you do your own people drive them out therefore they will be your judges but if it is by the finger of God that I drive out demons then the kingdom of God 
has come upon you. When a strong man fully armed guards his palace, his possessions are safe. But when one stronger than he attacks and overcomes him, he takes away the armor on which he relied and distributes the spoils. Whoever is not with me is against me, and whoever does not gather with me scatters. When an unclean spirit goes out of someone, it roams through arid regions, searching for rest. But finding none, it says, I shall return to my home from which I came. But upon returning, it finds it swept clean and put in order. Then it goes and bring back seven other spirits more wicked than itself who move. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. A blessed day to everyone. We will try to simplify the Gospel. It's to those tuning in right now in this Holy Mass, saan man po kayo ngayon, at ano man po ang inyong kalagayan at mga pinagdaanan, please be assured that God loves you and He is faithful to you. May the Lord's presence touch your body, touch your mind, touch your heart and soul in this Holy Mass. Because when we allow Him, only then healing and deliverance will come to our lives. Gusto po pala simulan ati pagninilay sa isang patanong. A simple question. Uh, ang simula po pala ng first ECQ sa Philippines ay ng March of last year, 2020. Ng 2020. Ang tanong ko dito, kung inyo pong maalala, ano yung mga pinakaabalahan nyo on those days of ECQ? Kasi if you're going to ask me, ang isa po sa mga pinakaabalahan ko ay sinubukan kong magkaroong soul searching. Nag-soul searching po ako ng days ng ECQ. Ibig sabihin, nagmuni-muni sa sarili. I look at, I, at my life. Kasi alam nyo, bago mag-ECQ, I can remember well myself, mainitin yung ulo ko before ECQ. So naisip ko, it's good to look at myself why I was like that for the past months before ECQ. I look at my life, how it's going, baka there are things needed, attention or adjustment or areas where to grow and fix and to purify myself. So ano ginawa ko? What methods I did? ang ginamit ko sa soul searching. Una, yung diary every day, yung journal. Meaning ko ano man thoughts lumabas sa isip ko, feelings ko, I write it down and bring it to prayer. And third, may mga libro po akong ginamit to guide me. And it happened na yung isa sa libro na yun ay daladala ko ngayon. The Book of Francis McNutt. Ang title po ay Healing. Healing. This helped me a lot in those days and months of ECQ. At gusto ko pong i-share sa inyo kasi isa pong chapter dito about exorcism and deliverance which is connected po sa gospel ngayon. What is really exorcism and deliverance? Yung mga nasasapian. Uh, ang natutunan ko po sa libro na ito, basic lang, yung prayer of healing pala ay iba po sa deliverance prayer. Yung nakikita nyo na nakalinya mga tao tapos pag may mga pare na naglagay sa ulo, natutumba. Iba pala yun. Ang prayer of healing is you ask the Lord to heal you. Pero pag nag-exercise ka, you directly talk to the evil force and command in Jesus' name to go out. So that's a good point. Pangalawa, dito ko po na-discover na yung mga nasasapian pala o dumaan ng deliverance, they need a lot of follow-up afterwards. May follow-up pala ito. Hindi lang ito isang beses na arangkada. May follow-up. Kasi sabi po ni Francis McNutt, may dalawang kailangang i-follow-up sa tao. Kasi una, 
the person needs a lot to ask God for forgiveness. Asaka, inner healing. Bakit pala? Kasi pala, nakakapasok at malakas ang kabig ng demonic forces sa isang tao kung ang puso niya ay puno ng kasalanan or cannot forgive himself or others. Mas kaya pala ng bata ako, sabi, mas madali ka daw masapian kung mahina ang faith mo. Sabihin, you cannot forgive, you cannot let go of the past. Tapos, bakit kailangan ng inner healing? Kasi marami pong mga sinasapian, mahina ang kalooban. Especially yung hawak nila sa anger, puno ng galit, yung hate, yung puot, insecurities, envy, greed, lust. Kaya nga, nakatawa dito, may isang exorcism daw si ginawa si Francis McNutt tapos it takes time ang 8 hours hihintayin mo yung ano kasi parang kailangan mag-confess ng in-exercise anong sumasapi sa kanya sabihin niya last anger naisip ko paano kaya kung ako ang in-exercise ano kaya ang sisigaw ko anger hate unforgiveness it can happen so ang point ko lang naman po dito ay friends kaya nga po Today, we are being reminded na sa ating panampalataya, may tatlong doors na peron tayong pasukan that can heal us, that can bring light to our life. Una, I would like to discuss to you the first door. The first door that can help you a lot is the door of grace. May grasya, mga kapatid, may grasya. Keep in mind, may magagawa ang Diyos sa sitwasyon mo ngayon. Ang tawag dito ay gracia. At to give you a simple explanation of gracia, nothing else but the song of Don Moen. God will make a way when there seems to be no way. So when pag binabagabag ka ng isip mo, damdamin mo, there's no way already, there's no way already, that's the negative forces. Say, Lord, I put my life on your grace. Meaning, there is a way by the light and grace of God. Always tell yourself, there's a grace, there's a way for me. After all, ang ama mismo, pinadala si Jesus sa atin para maging pintuan natin to forgive your sins, to heal your broken heart, broken spirit, and bring it back together. Last year, Uh, meron po dito ang sinarista dati na nasa Tagaytay na na medyo mature na siya nakapagtrabaho na siya sa labas then ang kanyang expertise ay psychology so isang araw nakita ko siya dito sa harapan ng simbahan and nagkaroon kami yung chance mag-usap for 40 minutes sabi ko so kanya sabi ko pwede magtanong sa iyo kasi gusto ko kasi since marami kang experience sa counseling sabi ko sa kanya, what if the person is really too wounded by life? Kasi especially some families are really, children are affected throughout the years. What if the person is too wounded by his culture, by his mother, by his father, by his guardian? Is there really a way out? Sabi ko. Kasi in my experience, di ba, nag-soul searching ako, parang malakas na lang kabig ng past. I don't know with you, but for me, I really have difficulty. Memory, the, pa the, the, me the, the pain of memory. Kaya no wonder sa mga addicts na nagdumaan ng mga rehabilitation, mayroong relapse, bumabalik. Itong sakot niya sa akin. Sabi niya, alam mo, Father, malaking tulong ang psychology because it gives you a tool to examine yourself, analyze yourself. Pero sabi niya, psychology is not complete. Because only the grace of God in Jesus Christ can heal us, can empower us to accept our past and surrender them to the Lord. You know, pumunta ako sa kwarto ko, relieved. Sabi ko, thank you Jesus for coming. Thank you for reminding us, God will make a way when there seems to be no way. Only human say, says there's no way, but God says there is a way for you. So that's the first door. Ano naman yung second door? Ngayon naman, the second door is, ang first door, ang Diyos ang nagbukas. 
Ang second door, sino kailangan magbukas? Tayo. Naala ko minsan, my goodness. I have to admit, I have to confess to all of you, makalimutin po ako. Kaya ang susi ko sa kwarto, tatlo-tatlo, iba-ibang location sa seminaryo, just in case mawala yung isa, na doon sa isang gilid, alam kong kung saan. Ngayon, one time, ng one time, di ka pag alam to eh, dati eh. Isa lang susi ko. Nagpapanik na ako kasi akala ko na nasarang, ano, nawala yung yung susi ko. Sige, dabi ako ng sarili. Ano ka ba, Ron Ray? Bakit ka makalimutin? Ngayon, after 30 minutes, one hour kakahanap ko, only to find out, yung susi pala, nakakabit lang dito sa gilid ko. Naku, Diyos ko. Ibig sabihin, sometimes we, were, we are groaning, despairing, self-doubt, for too long, nagmumukmuk, only to find out pala because we are not opening our door with us. At yung ginawa ko pong pag soul searching, that's a way, an invitation. So that's also a good invitation to all of us. You open from the inside. That's the spirituality of Christian life. You open from the inside. God searched and found us first before we found Him. Kaya naalala ko tuloy yung, balikan ko yung kwento, sabi ni Francis McNutt, ang totoong deliverance prayer in abot ng eight hours. Bakit? You have to give time doon sa taong pinopossess to accept na he needed the grace. At he has to accept na may kamalian siya. Kaya sisigaw siya eh. What evil spirit is eh, possessing you? Last, last. Naisip ko, naku parang takot ako mag, magpa-exercise baka ng mga masisigaw ko. But, with God, do not be afraid. God accepts everyone. What matter most is healing. Kaya nga yung perjudal son, come back to me. That's what God, no more condemnation, no more pan, no more condemn. God is, God sent His Son not to condemn you. Alam ng Diyos, pagod na tayo sa buhay. We had, what we needed most is His grace. So, just in, naisip ko kung ako man ang magpa-exercise, sumigaw, okay lang. Basta mahalaga, I am healed in Jesus' name. And last, ano po itong third door na kailangan buksan natin? Yung pintuan din ng iba, that after God opening the door of our hearts and life, we also do something, open the door of others. So God bless everyone. In your family, grabe po ang pandemic ngayon. In the family, you that's why we all need the grace of God and try to open doors of one another. God bless everyone. Prayer of the faithful. Gather together in Christ, who conquer all evil. Let us come confidently to the Father with our prayerful intentions. Response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may be renewed and give faithful witness to the proper values of life and so help restore a fallen world, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christian believers may have the courage to speak out boldly in the name of Christ, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may give wholehearted support in upholding the truth and in opposing the subtle influences of evil, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and the handicapped may receive the comfort of God's love from those engaged in caring for them, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died may be received into the fullness of God's kingdom, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for our other intentions. Father, we bring our offering to you and prayer of supplication. Hear our prayer and bless us in this journey. All this we ask through Christ our Lord. 
Amen. Alay na ito ang tinapay na nagmula sa pagpapala mo At tanggapin ang alak na ito, inuming inihain sa iyo Mahal namin Diyos, inyong tanggapin ang munting alay mula sa amin Buong puso namin Hihintayin pagpapala na amin Hiling Aming hatid alay na ito Napay na nangula sa pagpapala mo At tanggapin ang alak na ito Inuming inihain sa iyo Mahal namin Diyos, inyong tanggapin Ang mundo Alay mula sa amin Buong puso namin Hihintayin pagpapala na amin Mahal namin Diyos Inyong tanggapin Ang munting alay sa amin Buong puso namin Hihintayin Pagpapala na amin Hiling Pagpapala na amin Hiling Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the sacrifices instituted by your commands and through the sacred mysteries which we celebrate with dutiful service graciously complete the sanctifying work by which you are pleased to redeem us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks father most holy through your beloved son jesus christ your word through whom you made all things whom you sent as our savior and redeemer incarnate by the holy spirit and born of the virgin fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people he stretched out his hands as he endured this passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection and so with the angels and all the saints we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim Said he's 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Onesto Ong Choco, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. Friends, let us pause for a while. Remember our family members or friends and relatives who have gone ahead of us. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> through him and with him and in him O God Almighty Father in the unit of the Holy Spirit all glory and honor assures forever and ever Amen Brothers and sisters let us give glory and adoration to our Father by praying the prayer Christ taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, 
we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us share to one another the sign of peace. Peace to everyone. Peace to all of you. Peace to all those in the online, Facebook, and YouTube channels. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Brothers and sisters, this is our Lord Jesus Christ. The Father sent him to us to open the door that will lead us to the way of peace, way of healing, way of love, way of light, way of understanding and enlightenment. Let us claim this, for he is the Lamb of God, and behold him because he came to take away the sins of the world. And blessed are you and all those invited to partake to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Sati 
can you rise? Right after the prayer after communion, there is a we will have the devotion to the most sacred heart of Jesus. Let us pray. Grant us, Almighty God, that we may be refreshed and nourished by the sacrament which we have received so as to be transformed into what we consume through Christ our Lord. Amen. the sacred heart of Jesus, image of divine love. Lord Jesus Christ, through the image of your heart, you have revealed your overwhelming love for us. We honor, honor your, your divine, divine love. love. You were driven by it. You, the, the eternal, eternal word, word of, of the, the Trinity, Trinity took, took the form, the form of, a of a slave to be recognized in your manner and bearing, and bearing as really human. human. We respect that holy love which inflamed and spurred you to proclaim your Father to the world, to do His will always, to offer yourself as a pleasing sacrifice to God the Father for our salvation, and to consider us worthy of your service. We, we honor, honor your, your human, human love which, which you experienced while living, living as a man among us. us. When you, when you were thrilled with joy because, because you were filled with the Holy Spirit, Spirit. when you were plunged into sorrow, great, great enough, enough to break your heart. And so we know that, although you are God and eternal love, you love your Father with a human heart as well, and you love people as your own brothers and sisters. Grateful, Grateful and, and full of confidence, we surrender ourselves to you. Since we are sure that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor any creature can separate us from God's love for us, which is in you, O Lord. You promised streams of living water to those who come thirsting and drink. 
See our joy as we drink saving waters from your font. This is the source from which you are filled with grace and every blessing from heaven. Grant us the great gift of your love, which is poured forth in our hearts by the Holy Spirit, who has been given to us. Inspired by the Spirit, may we better understand how deeply you want to be loved by us, with all our heart, with all our soul, and with all our mind, and with all our strength. With your help, may we follow your new commandment, the law to love all, so that everyone will know from this that we really are your disciples. Your, your love, love impels, impels us not to live for ourselves, ourselves but for you, because you died for us and rose again. We are as tools in your hands, serving your sacred ministry, or proclaiming to every nation in the world the good news from God. With a word, Almighty can accomplish immeasurably more than we could ask for, even dream of. Glory to Him in His Church, in you, Lord Jesus, and in all peoples through endless ages. Amen. In the silence of our hearts, we present to the merciful heart of Jesus our needs and intentions. May the darkness of sin and the night of unbelief vanish before the light of the Word and the Spirit of grace. And may the heart of Jesus live in the hearts of all. Amen. Oratio Imperata Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love, and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country and the whole world. We pray for our health workers, that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health and mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael, the pray Archangel, for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Saints Arnold Johnson and Joseph Reynadimit, pray for us.
given them bread from heaven containing in itself all sweetness let us pray O God in this wonderful sacrament you have left us a memorial of your passion grant us we pray so to venerate the sacred mysteries of your body and blood that we may ever feel within us the fruit of your redemption you live and rule world without end amen, amen. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Comforter. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Sweet. 